And then this cool brush, like it's a brush that you can open like that. So I thought that was pretty cool. Oh no, I took it all the way off. Oh wait. Ta-da. There we go. But yeah, they gave me those cute things. So let me get into the unit a little bit. So this is the 13 by 4 reddish brown hair. Um, this hair is their water wave hair, but I decided to blow it out and add some like light curls to it. The reason why I did it, because I know some people are like, why would you blow out curls? Don't ever do that. The reason why I did it is because I really wanted some nice, thick, yakky textured looking hair in this reddish brown color. Like I just thought it looked so cute for the holidays and it's giving like, I don't know. I feel like sometimes when you get like straight units or even body wave, it's just so thin and just it doesn't give as much as like yaki does so the best way for me to get to yaki was just to blow it out straight and um add some curls to it like look at that it's so cute this hair was so easy to blow out i'm probably gonna have another video where i put water on it just to see how it was able how it's able to revert um i did see this cute little hairstyle all over tiktok and you guys know me if there's one thing about me if i see something i'm gonna try to do it at least to the best of my ability i did do fish tail braids um fish tail braids took forever to do i can't even lie like it took me about like 20 minutes which was kind of like od but other than that i don't really have anything much to say the hair blew out beautiful and it still has its texture to it, which is exactly what I wanted. I didn't even have a perfect blow dryer. I was using the Conair thing, which has become my favorite tool. Since I'm up here with my parents, like all of my goodies are back home. Like even this install, I didn't, I couldn't even install it like how I usually install it back home. I had to change it up a little bit and work with what I had. But I think overall, it was such a cute install. And the color is giving like i can't wait to even wear this hair wavy because i know it's just gonna be cute it's giving me the little mermaid like i love the color it's definitely for my like little brown girls dark skin girls light skin girls i did see a comment the other day too i want to address it and the girl was like oh i'm dark skin and i want to get i think she said she wanted to get like bright red hair but she was worried about how it would look at her complexion one thing about me is i used to honestly suffer from that when i was younger i was told like maybe not get that braid because braid color don't get burgundy because burgundy is not going to look good on you don't get blonde because blonde is not going to look good on you and the older i got the more i'm going into do what makes you happy like if you want to try that color try it and listen you decide if you like it or if you don't don't let anybody else decide because people are always going to try to put you in a box and when i tell you 2023 this is for myself too we're breaking out of that box we're breaking out of that mold that people try to put us into like no more of that but anyway this hair was beautiful you nice you nice you guys always do your thing i'm gonna link it down below because this hair, let me see i have it pulled up actually so i'll tell you guys how much it costs i don't even it's 167 13 by 7 22 inches fluffy and this hair in the back y'all like, come on, you, you, oof, it's beautiful. But other than that, um, if you guys want to get this look, I show you guys how I do everything, even the little fishtails. <laughs> Continue watching. Bye. 
Hey y'all, thanks so much for watching. So right now I'm just showing you guys how the hair looked in the original texture in the front. I did already blow out the back and this hair was so easy to get straight or at least to this yaki texture that I wanted it to get to. Um, so right now I'm just spraying the chi and then I'm just using the Conair blow dryer curling brush. That's been my go-to goat for this trip at my parents house i don't have a blow dryer and luckily this hair was so easy to straighten out all i did was blow it out to the best of my ability with the brush and then after that i sectioned it into smaller sections and then straightened it on 450 heat it was so easy to get nice and straight like definitely worth the cost Well, that's basically all i do when it comes to the straightening i'm just showing you how the curly side looks versus the straight side i wasn't trying to get it bone straight but with this wig i definitely know i could if i wanted to look at the luster look at the shine like it was definitely giving what it needed to give after that what i'm gonna do is i'm just gonna cut out the ends and then i'm going to use my curler just to add some curls to it and then i'm gonna use that velcro curler that i've been seeing all over tiktok um I'm going to let you guys see what that ending result was. And then y'all can tell me if y'all like it or not. And then, of course, you know, I'm going to give my opinions as well. So this is me um, showing the inside of the wig. I only used four of the Velcro colors. Um, no, I'm sorry, eight of the Velcro colors because that's all I had. And then this is me putting on my second layer of the even lace glue on the front of my head. And then I'm just going to lay it down. I'm so happy I packed that at the very least because I didn't think that I had any lace glue at all. And it held it down. I had to do it on my front. And on my sides, which you guys know, I don't really like putting glue on my edges, but I just made sure I didn't use a lot. And I only got one layer of glue on the sides and then two for the front. Also, I'm using that Conair brush as <laughs> a blow dryer. I'm telling you guys, I had nothing with me. But, you know, it all came together and it gave a look towards the ending. So what I'm doing is the basics. You guys already know. After you cut the wig in three, you're going to just place the lace down in its appropriate spot. And then after that, you push it in with the comb, which is what you guys saw me doing. And now I'm just cutting off the lace to the best of my ability. Um, that's pretty much it. Ain't nothing to it but to do it. After that, once I fully cut off the lace, I am going to go in with the got to be spray and just spray it on any of the lace that's lifting up and just any of the lace that's visible to me. And then I'm just going to put an elastic band and have that sit on it for like a good 10 minutes.
to see my whole time crystal. I can't even find a calm mission. Right now, I'm just stuck inside a crib on my own. Soon as I pick up, I'm about to pop up on your phone. Like, I'm outside in an AMG. Right outside. PT. Two turns, baby girl, you know me. Okay, so I think I may have learned a little tip, a little trick for my girlies that are continuing to watch. So to clean up my edges from the um, alcohol, from spraying the got to be, and also the makeup that I put on the wig, I'm using micellar water. Um, I might be killing the pronunciation, but I'm going to include the name of it right at the top. But yeah, it saved the look, like especially around the edges area, they were looking so rough. And that water basically got rid of any of the leftover residue from the spray and the makeup and the crunchy look. Like it helped smooth it down. Oh, please don't be like me i cut that side way too short and i was burning the hell out of myself with that curling line but i made it do what it do i do also curl up sometimes i curl down i don't know why i curled up this time hey it is what it is you kind of just make it do what it do i am using the got to be and when i tell you it was giving look at that it was looking very hard very crunchy i am not the best at edges i'm working on it just like you guys are if you guys are beginners at this like me um there go my mom but yeah i put way too much gel in it so that little piece that little curl piece i was making sure that was perfect everything else didn't have to slap but that up curl piece needed to slap so this is what i did I um, cleaned it off with a little bit of water and that micellar water that I was talking to you guys about. And then I curled it again. And instead of using the toothbrush to curl that, what I did use was the little spoolie that comes for your eyelashes and your eyebrows. I just used that and it helped slick it down amazingly. Okay, so now it's time to take out the curlers and there we go. The ultimate disappointment on my face. <laughs> this was after a night of me having it um, in. Like those Velcro curlers, that was a night of me having it in. And it looked really bad. Um, it just wasn't giving. I think the Velcro kind of like ripped out the curls or maybe I just didn't know how to use it. But I knew it was going to do that. That's why I didn't want to buy too many of those Velcro curlers. Like I just had it. I inkling that it was going to do that if I'm just if I'm being for real but you know I just wanted to get it you know for the aesthetic I guess but um yeah the hair is still very smooth I'm going through it again with the Kanye blow dryer just to make sure it's a little bit straighter and then after I finish with that I'm gonna go in with the barrel curler which is chef's kiss amazing 10 out of 10 
and add the curls into it. So wait, 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 before I do all of that, what I will have to do is first get some rubber bands and do some cute high up ponytails. The style that I'm replicating is a style that I saw Diamond So Flawless do. Um, I saw her TikTok and I thought it was so cute, so I had to recreate it. Um, you just want to make sure that you're doing this on a lace front because you don't want any track showing. And after that, after you get the two ponytails, I did a French braid on both sides, which all I got to say for that is never again. It was so tedious. It wasn't hard, but very confusing. I'm going to link the video down below for what I used when it came to, like, actually braiding it. Everybody, baby, if you want me, can't be turning up with everybody. Nah, can't be fucking on this anybody. Yeah, I got feelings for you, that's the thing about it. Yeah, you know that it's something when I sing about it. Yeah, mama used to be on disability, but gave me this ability. And now she walking with her head high and her back straight. I don't think you're feeling me, I'm out here being everything they said I wouldn't be a couldn't be. I don't know what happened to them guys that said they would be. I said, see you at the top and they misunderstood me. I hold no resentment in my heart, that's that maturity. And we don't keep it on us anymore, it's with security. I'm outside, 29, G5, C5. I've been losing friends and finding peace. But honestly, that sounds like a fair trade to me. If I ever heard one, and I'm still here. Outside, front line, south side. I've been losing friends and finding peace. Honestly, that sound like a fair trade to me. So after that, you are going to just want to seal it with a rubber band and then just to close it off to make sure it doesn't unravel. And then after that, I did it to the other side, which was probably like another 10 hours later. Honestly, my hands were on 10. Like, they hurt so bad. Such an arm workout. And then after I did it to the other side, I just went back in with my curling iron. Like what I said before, added some curls and voila, that was the finished look. I just want to say thank you guys so much for watching. If y'all like the video, please like it, comment because I love interacting with you guys and subscribe for my next one. I should have a vlog out tomorrow and I want to just say thank you guys so much for your love and support. And if you made it to the end of this video, I love you times 10. Bye.